Hey there friend, my name is Christina Rafano from nursingsos.com and in this video, it's gonna be a little different today. I just want this to be a very, very high level quick review so you can walk into your dose calc exam confident and ready to pass. I'm going to review with you the key things to remember when you go and take your dose calc exam. So make sure to watch this video right as you're walking into your test to make sure that you remember these things so that you can pass. So the first key thing to make sure is on the top of your mind when you take your test is to make Make sure that you know what the question is actually asking you for. Please, please, please make sure that you're watching for distractors in the question. They can put different conversions in that question uh, to try to throw you off. But make sure that you are looking at what you need to end up with at the end. What unit are they actually asking you for? What is the question actually asking? So that is key. Make sure that you actually know what the question is asking you for or else you're just going to be solving for the wrong thing. Now, number two is to write your answer to the correct decimal place. Your questions will often tell you what decimal place they want you to uh, answer it in, whether it be a whole number that you're supposed to write like just one whole number, or if it's supposed to be to the 10th, which is one decimal place over, or to the 100th, which is two decimal places over. So make sure that you are watching for what the question is actually asking and what decimal place they want you to write your answer as, because you will get it wrong if you just simply write it incorrectly. So you gotta watch for that, make sure that you are writing your answer correctly to the correct decimal. Now kind of along those same lines is to make sure that you include the unit. So if they're asking for milliliters that you're writing ML, or if they're asking for grams that you're writing grams or writing that G out to make sure that you are including the unit when they ask you for it. Some tests, if you're, especially if you're on a computerized a dose calc test, they might include the units for you and you just have to put the number and that's fine. But if you are handwriting your test, make sure that you are including the units. Now, real quickly, before your dose calc exam, I wanted to review with you super quick um, some key dose calc conversions that I wanna make sure that you remember before you walk into your exam. So let's go through these real quick because I know you have a test in just a few minutes. So one grain equals 65 milligrams. So a grain, GR, is 65 milligrams. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Okay, remember that one. One ounce is two tablespoons. An ounce is equal to two tablespoons. One ounce is also equal to 30 milliliters. So one ounce is 30 milliliters, okay? One tablespoon is 15 milliliters. So a tablespoon is 15 milliliters. One tablespoon is equal to three teaspoons. So a tablespoon is equivalent to three teaspoons. And then one teaspoon is five milliliters or mLs. One teaspoon is five milliliters. Now, if you have some more time before you take your dose calc exam, make sure to watch this video where I'm gonna dive deeper into uh, everything that you should be reviewing before you take your exam. This video is just a quick, high level uh, to make sure that you know these things before you walk into your exam. But in that video, I'm gonna dive deeper into the must know things to make sure that you've got down solid before you take your exam. So be sure to check that out and write love in the comments below if this video is helpful for you because that's what we do around here in our community here. And as always, my friend, go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I will see you over there in that next video.